this is okay art i'm k welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel this will be the final part of our dragon eye pencil layer um also i might be adding some posca highlights um we'll see uh today we're going to be doing these horns here for which i have the prismacolor palette right here let me get you to the actual overhead view <laughs> Okay, now we're overhead. Um, let me just get out the colors I have planned. So for our darkest shadows, we have 90% uh, cool gray, which is 1067. Then we have 1065, which is just the 70% cool gray. Then, I think it's this one, yep, 1063, which is the, I think 50, yeah, 50% 50 cool gray. And then we have the 20% cool gray, which is 1060 for the uh, highlights. I had originally planned this video out for, oh, yesterday. Uh, but I ended up not having time. So here we are today. I did a uh, one color challenge. My husband forced me to do brown. <laughs> I was going to do red again. And he was like, you haven't done brown. Um, not the biggest fan of my brown one color challenge. But it is uploaded to my shorts if you want to check it out. All right, let me decide where we're going to start. You know what? We're just going to start... right up here, I guess. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I kind of want to start at the bottom for this part. Right down here, I guess. <laughs> All right, I also, as always, have my Prismacolor sharpener, which I have to go empty. One minute. All right, it's emptied. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the shadow color which is the 90% cool gray uh 1067 this is for the darkest part of the shadows so if we're starting is this where i have it aimed it's not oh my goodness okay there we go. Okay, if we're starting down here, the heaviest shadow is going to be where the um, bottom of the predetermined shading is, which I've already shaded in marker as my base. Uh, but we're doing the very bottom of that shade, so not all the way up. Also for these parts that I might also lightly shade some of this. Anyways, for these parts where there's uh, a second shadow area, I'm also going in and doing about half of that. I think last time I recorded, my boys had a snow day and we are in a winter storm warning right, or advisory right now until six. So they also had a snow day today. So if they come up and need something, I'll, I'll pause the recording, but you might hear them. I'm glad I'm finally getting this picture done just in time to add it to my finished pages for February. 
which February is a short month, but I got so much more done in February than in January. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to post my finished pages video. Tomorrow is when I will be posting that. So, you know, keep an eye out. Okay, and then we're getting to like the um, bigger horns here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and so I feel like this would be the top part would be a little bit heavier here. So shading the top part of this shadow. the bottom part of this shadow. I am super happy with how the uh, scales turned out after I got my pencil layer <clears throat> laid down. So I'm hoping that my pencil layer on the these uh, horn things has the same effect for me. Also, normally I stick to three, um, like a, a shadow, a mid-tone, and a highlight, and I think I picked four for these. I did. I did pick four. <clears throat> I don't know how much I'm going to use this one. I might skip that one and then use it to tie in these two if I need to but we will find out Let me see if I'm still, yep, okay, I'm just making sure that, because when I'm zoomed in, I can't see my uh, viewfinder, so I don't really know when I'm in or out of frame. <clears throat> okay, let us maybe... Stop there for now. Go back and do my mid-tones so I can get that done. And Okay, so for mid-tones, it's going to be the majority. This one I'm using um, 1063. I'm skipping my 70% uh, cool gray for now, and I'll come back if I need it. Um, but so we're using the 50% cool gray and it's going to be the majority of the, um, the horn 
other than like the very lightest part. So, so I leave a little bit for highlight. Here, I feel like this is raised up, so that'll be highlight. Then I come behind it, this tip and this base right here will also be highlight. <clears throat> This one I feel like is kind of similar in that this part right here is raised, but we're still going to come over it just slightly. Okay. And we just continue just the highest points of the each horn, leaving open for highlight. By highest points, I mean like obviously each horn will have recessed points and points that are more brought out and so just kind of picturing each part as a 3d object kind of helps to see where you should uh, leave the highlight space so like for instance this one has this big curve here which to me says that it would have more highlight than these ones we've previously done. So kind of leave it like this, putting our mid-tone here. Mm. This one again has one of those, and that's gonna go probably kind of like that. That one's a bit muddy, but it's okay. Some of these are kind of a guessing game, and you just kind of hope it looks good. <laughs> At least that's what I do. <laughs> um, this one needs more. There we go. Oh, that's the problem. I have this like Elgato light, but it's directly behind my phone. <laughs> I'm just not realizing that part of the light's probably getting um, obstructed by my recording device. That's okay. Having the light there definitely offsets the shadow that would be created by this window I have over in this direction, so. Oof, that one was a little harder. Sharpen break. <clears throat> also, I won't be talking as much in this one, just kind of like the last one as I'm still I thought I was over it, but apparently I'm still recovering from whatever bug I picked up. <coughs> I'm a little better right now than I was an hour ago, but... Uh, these uh, bigger ones, as I start coloring them, I, they get intimidating for me. Okay, let me think about this before I mess it up okay so I'm gonna just see because I feel like this is a high point but it would still be like shadowed around because maybe the middle would be the high point yeah that feels right okay when in doubt just lightly do it first <laughs> and then this part here obviously goes in so that is definitely at least a mid-tone. I might have to bring my 70% cool gray into that. Then this comes up again. But then there's this recess here. Hmm. Oh, wait. I think I... Here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is kind of bring this down and connect it. <sighs> and then bring this up. There we go. Okay, I'm happier with that. And then we'll also do the edges of this one. Hmm. 
because we use Prisma here where like the pink, I don't know if you could see it on camera, but I could see it with my eyes. The pink had come over and I can just kind of smoosh that away. Okay, but are you gonna say that? No, I'm recording. Can you say hi? <laughs> Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Alright, go get Dusty. That was my eight year old. <laughs> um hit. He was excited that I was recording, but he thought it was a time lapse, so he just came on over. Okay. This part's a bit confusing for me, but let's just like wing it and lightly go over each of these marks that are here and we'll see where to go from there. Jeez Louise, this one's difficult. Okay. So, I'm going to bring it, I think, mostly up there. And then, here we're going to shade, or come into the shadow, come around here, using like, and every time I like bring it in, I'm lightening, lightening up my pressure than the parts that I'm like super sure about. Um, okay, so I feel like this comes up over this, so at least do half of this portion. Yeah, and then we're gonna leave this stripe of highlight, because that looks nice. Then this part, you know what, why don't we just mimic that again, leaving a stripe of high. ooh, okay. Trust the process. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I think that I am happy with how that is coming together. Let me see. Yeah, so the difference between pencil layer and just marker base. Again, like, night and day difference. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my highlight color on these ones that we have already done this is excuse me the 20 percent cool gray which is i think 1060 yeah it's 1060 so ooh, that's a rough sharpened tip that's weird anyways um so some of these ones don't have much for highlight it's just and when i do highlight i always use uh not always i typically use a firmer pressure just to really get it in there and when i highlight with marker i go over the entire base from dark part to the lightest part but when i am using prismas uh if you, you can shade like that, but it often washes out your darkest parts. So I try to keep my highlight where I want the highlight, kind of smushing it into the mid-tone, but never, never on the shadows. Unless that's the look I intended on in the first place was like a lighter shadow. This one, kind of here, and highlights usually go pretty quick though because I've already laid out where those are going. They don't have any thought to them, which also means I can talk more with my highlight. <laughs> <coughs> Jeez Louise. Yeah, this is why I wasn't going to record today. I mean, I, I planned on it, but then I was like, oh. My voice is not doing so well, but I'm going to push through because I did in my community tabs, um, I did post an, a video upload schedule for this week. 
So if you're curious what videos to expect, did I not? Oh, I shadowed these and I never mid-toned them. Oh well, we'll stick to these. Also, I'm gonna come back with my shadow and add more shadow underneath here because that doesn't look right to me. I'm just using light pressure because it all just looked too light. Okay, then all these spaces where I've left room for highlight, We'll now get highlight. Yay! I think that I like it. This is this was the hardest part for me to figure out was what color these horns were going to be. I'm glad I kind of went with like a silvery look. Because I didn't want to bring in more color because of how colorful up here the, the eye is. And then I did pink for a dragon. So I was like, the heck am I going to do? But I think the gray works out very nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is pause the recording, finish up uh, this, possibly go into these, and I'll bring you back for um, the larger ones up here. Okay, so here is what we have so far. I did, went ahead and finished all these. Um, this bottom part, sorry, let me zoom in. And also this very top part, all I have left is this middle part, which I was going to come back and record in, <coughs> excuse me, in this video, but I'm thinking I might just time lapse it because everyone is home now. My husband got home and stuff like that, so. But you can see the difference between what has a pencil layer and what doesn't. Let's see. Yep. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse this. I'll upload it to Shorts and TikTok. Um, and then you'll see the finished page either if you watch those. Or I will be uploading the finished pages for um, the month of February tomorrow. So you can also see it there. Alright. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And give this video a like if you got this far. And have a good day. Thanks.